So we sold our house. <laughs> Welcome to the Handyverse, where we approach home ownership mindfully, turning to DIY as a first resort when our knowledge and skills allow it. Um, this is a bit of a different video for us today because, uh, like we said in the opening, we sold our house. So um, we're going to take you on a tour. We did a tour three years ago. Three or four, yeah. It's a little bit painful to watch now, <laughs> but. Um, so we're gonna go through it again, just uh, just for really more probably for our own benefit than anybody else. So so we have it as uh, for memories and stuff, but to, to take you through the projects that we've done and um, the projects we haven't done and the projects we haven't <laughs> done. There's a few of those too. So this video is a little bit bittersweet for us. We um, have been in this home for five years almost exactly, and only a short little while after that we started Handyverse uh, by accident. So it's a little hard to say goodbye, but it's also a little exciting to move into our new home um, and we chose to sell this home for lots of different reasons but the main thing was to um, get to a little quieter space and a little bit uh, further away from the city so we're super excited to share that with you um, in the next uh, few videos so we're gonna just go through the house and Jason will probably put up a comparison before and after pictures there's a lot of projects we've done there's a lot of projects we plan to do but never did um, as I'm sure many of you can appreciate, but nonetheless, um, we'll uh, give her a go. So, this is a video. We painted this door, and the paint uh, held up really well. It's been two years, and um, it still looks pretty good. Um, so, this is our living room. And um, not one of the projects we did, but in the house, uh, we did get all new windows. So that's not a project we can share, but something that made a huge difference to us in this house. We can finally open the windows, which is nice. Uh, another video, what did we do? We made these, my mother-in-law and I made these curtains, um, which unfortunately we have to leave uh, with the sale of this home, which is really sad. Um, but I hope that they continue to enjoy them as much as we did and we'll be making more curtains in the new house as well as more uh, Roman blinds. There's one here, we have a few different ones and we do have a video on how to make Roman blinds, um, but hope to put up plans for, for more. Don't trap the cat. Oh, come on, Mango. And Mango's still kicking. She's a few pounds heavier like the rest of us, but she's still here. Um, this is not a video, but hopefully we'll be able to share it at some point. This is a, for the people with um, children, probably recognize this. It's called a Pickler Triangle. And uh, our little guy really enjoys this, and we hope to be able to share how Jason made that before too long. This was a quick Christmas gift that had to be done. Um, because to buy, just to add, to buy these, it's like, how much it's is 400 it? 400 bucks. Four or $500, which is kind of crazy, but he does get really good use out of this. So what else did we do? Uh, we did um, some pillows. Likely we'll be making more pillows. Uh, we have a video on that. Um, we just have some pictures hanging here, which seems a little bit absurd that it would be a video, but anyone who's bought these frames from Ikea would know that uh, they're a bit of a challenge, or at least for us, it was to figure out how to hang them. So uh, moving along, we're going to the dining room. So we have a few videos in here. Um, I think you didn't spell it out completely how to make this table, but you did do a little video on the how summary. You, a summary of how you planned it. Um, this was pre verse, but um, there is a video sharing a bit of that. And then the project that started it all, <laughs> the bench um, and the cushions, which unfortunately we don't have a video for, but the bench, which is super helpful. And um, <clears throat> we're thinking, I'm not sure, but we're thinking of a bench or something in the new house. Um, you have a video on these, what do you call them? Pictures. Well, I know they're pictures, <laughs> but like, are they engineering prints? Like yes, taking a picture they're, they're... of your own, blowing it up, using an engineering print and doing this on the super cheap for people, you know, yeah. for a simple, cheap project to they're fill like, your wall. Basically like $5 each. and. Uh... The trick with that was the uh, the material used to uh, put them up. And this room, the windows. So. Yeah, in this home we added two additional windows, which 
scared the living bejesus out of me before we got them. I just hate the idea of cutting holes into your house, but um, not much more expensive than just replacing your window, and it made all the world of difference in this room. So uh, We spent a lot of time in this room, and it's super bright now. Yes, so this is the dining room slash office. <laughs> Um, okay, we've got a few projects in here. There's a microwave cart, which is super handy and kind of filled to the brim here with everything. Um, but we like that. Um, so we'll be taking this, but we'll have to leave this. This is just something really simple like a box, but um, very functional for in the kitchen and our little uh, screen looking up recipes and what have you. Uh, and then a video that we get a lot of questions about is the painting of the kitchen cabinets. And this has been approaching three and a half, almost four years. And while if we read- It'll be four and a half. Four and a half? We did this shortly after we moved in. Okay, so what we did was, um, I'm sure Jason will put up a picture of it before, looked like a cabin in here. And it made the world of difference. It cost about $200 and a lot of time but 100% worth it. Oh, and we replaced the hardware. But it's holding up fairly well. We did do a little touch up, um, so worth it. Actually, yeah, we should zoom in a little bit on that because people ask us about that all the time, but you can see it's, it did it's hold up well. a little bit. There's been a few chips. I did touch it up a little. However, if we had, while it was fine for this kitchen, if we had higher quality cabinets that we were doing in a nicer, newer kitchen and wanted to paint it, I'm not sure that I would choose this paint because um, there was some yellowing. But for what we had, yeah. it was that was yellow. Okay. That was yellow right away, though. After we put the glaze on, so it wasn't really the paint; it was the glaze that came with the kit. So, but um, but yeah, I don't think we would use the the product again. We would buy the pieces individually. The paint and the so it sounds kind of strange. I recommend it, but I wouldn't necessarily use it again, <laughs> if that well, makes we, sense. We got what we wanted out of it. Yes. We really wanted a quick, we had a cheap we wanted fix. a five year window yeah. on uh, on our kitchen, and we definitely got that. So. Yeah. I think that's in here. Yeah. So um, this was a big addition, or like we did this one New Year's Eve pre child children. Yes. <laughs> um. So we put up this, what's it called? Beat yeah, it's board? Like, yeah, tongue and groove. Tongue and groove. Chip pie. lap. Yeah. And the bench and the shelf and the hooks because there was nothing here really when you when you came in uh, before. Mm -hmm. So this has been very helpful and functional. I don't know what we would do without it right now. Um, and another thing we did, not a project, but made a huge difference in this home as well is added the glass frosted door. Um, this house doesn't get a lot of direct sunlight inside. It gets a lot of sunlight like, on the exterior of the house, but to directly shine in, not much. And that let in a lot of light. That in addition with the extra windows, like different house. Um, we didn't do anything with that closet. We were going to do a barn door, but we did it downstairs. Watch it. This is making me tired just talking about all the projects and I didn't do most of them. <laughs> um, not a video, but we did make this table, or Jason made it, I helped. <laughs> um, uh, live edge wood table, which is coming and we'll have some uh, adjustments to it. And mom and dad had the, uh, the legs are off an old sewing machine. So the mom and dad had it for the house. And so we use that with the live edge wood for the desk. This is a video, but again, not sure that it should be one, but you did make a video about doing a corner curtain it, thing. It's surprisingly popular too. I don't know why, but... <laughs> Anything Ikea, I guess. Well, that's true. And then um, this Murphy bed was installed in this old closet. Um, <laughs> So this is, and we finally finished, uh, just in time for listing, um, finished the um, trim around it, which we had done it when we did the Murphy bed. But this was a really good use of space in this room. Uh, so this is the Murphy bed. Uh, 
fun little project. A um, little cat door for, um, for Mango here. Uh, and it worked out well and little guy never did successfully get through the hole, so that worked out okay for us. And he sticks his head through it every now and then. But yeah. He doesn't fit through it. He's a little big now for it, so. Um, and this was a recent project. I don't, it's always hard to film this. We did it's a few, so small in here, but. few things in here, but this is probably one of the most aggressive renovations was the bathroom. Um, we had a fit bath fitter thing in there and took that out, made, did a tile and a shower kit from Costco. Costco? Yep. Yeah. Um, the tile's not, the, just the door and the, uh, so with and, the, the th and the base. So with the glass, um, the glass and having the tile and everything without the shirt and shirt and the shower curtain, <laughs> it makes this bathroom feel a lot better, bigger. <laughs> Is this a video? You made this mirror. I don't remember what the video is. I'm not sure. <laughs> I did make I did make the mirror in a hurry because I broke the old one. And this is a cute. We didn't make this obviously, but um, this is a good little idea if you have a small bathroom. Um, this, this really tiny um, vanity worked out really well in here. This shelf, which I still hate, by the way. I like it now. I <laughs> don't like it. We didn't and, like it after we did it, but I think with the changes in the. Yeah, with the rest bad. of the bathroom, the, it's, the it looks a lot better. Yeah. Um, and sellers, or sellers, buyers, you may want to move that light fixture over if it doesn't make sense anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly centered. Yeah, this will be a video. This will be like our video to them. This is all the things you should you should do. <laughs> There's not much to do inside. Yeah. Mango, watch out. All right, let's go downstairs. Uh, one of the projects we did, oh, the door squeaky, should grease those hinges. But uh, we did do this. Uh, it doesn't look like much either, but it's one of those things that really helps uh, in the day to day in the house. So we, you know, organized ourselves here. We got a spot to put wet cloths, bibs, things like that, and we got our uh, broom and mop hanging here to uh, to have it close by, um, but still tucked away. Instead of having it somewhere else up here. This was a lot of work down here. Uh, didn't quite get it finished, but... Uh, you can just say it. Suzanne's pointing and making faces, but uh, <laughs> um, we also did the, the wall art too. That's, a, that's another one of the videos. Um, that one's the best one up there. This is Suzanne's and this my daughter's. Um, and then down here, this is a, a huge change from, and it might be hard to see in pictures, but if you if you watch, if you can sit through the old video, the old house tour, uh, when you come down in here, it was really, really bad down here. It was dark. It was, uh, it was congested because there was a wall here. Uh, this laundry area was basically was a stack in here. And this was some kind of utility room, um, but you know we, we insulated the, all the walls. We tore down these the divider walls in the middle. Oh, geez, we did a lot in here. We drywalled everything, uh, drywalled the ceiling. Um, we got this, uh, we got this sink. We didn't get to put it in, but we are going to leave it for the buyers of the house. Um, the intention was to obviously put put the sink in here with a with a countertop laundry top, tabletop across across the uh, washer and dryer, but uh, but uh, anyway, this is here for them. And uh, we, what else in here? The tile, this was on the back. Yep, there's wall tile here. Uh, we were, the intention was to, to put that up there. We're leaving that as well for the buyers. And, uh, and hopefully they can finish it off. And it's close, not a lot left to do, but uh, it'll be good to get it done. We got the Her Majesty's Royal Throne Room here. Um, this was actually old uh, off a dresser at uh, my parents' house. Um, we just had this set up against this, but you know when we planned out the laundry room, we, we made this little nook for the for the kitty litter to keep it out of the way. And then uh, what else is down here? The sewing table. Oh, or yeah. not sewing table. You did the cover. You did the Iron cover place, right? The cover, yeah. Um, so that's another that's another video, and then we got uh, 
the French door, or no, barn door. Barn door. Because this one here, I kept calling it a French door in the video, and I had to redo the whole, almost the whole video because I spent the whole time calling it a French door instead of a barn door. But this is neat, and it's not neat because we did it, but it's neat because it's um, hung from the ceiling. Um, and we used uh, old closet hardware to, to do it. So this, this was from the closet where we put the Murphy bed in. And I just attached it to the ceiling and used that hardware to make this door. And it's kind of a French, um, French false bar uh, barn door. And then I cut these grooves and added the paneling to make it look more like a real one. And uh, anyway, so let's go into the rest of the basement. So from the laundry room, we go into the, uh, we call it the extra area, the, uh, the gym, the rec room, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we've done a lot in here too. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it's finished, which it's not, but, um, we, you know, we had the electrical panel replaced. I basically redid all the wiring here. There was a lot of, uh, I would call poor wiring in here, like junction boxes hanging down, loose wires. Cleared all that out and, um, and installed these pot lights to make it brighter. And uh, we just got this flooring. It's just cushion floor uh, for, uh, for using it as a gym. And so this works well for us. And a few totes getting ready to move, but over here we got the workshop and I put in, I just put in these. Uh, the plan at one point was to build walls here, but uh, since we sold the house, we're not gonna do that now, but we're gonna leave these here as um, uh, dust curtains. And uh, they do the job. It's great, it keeps, anything I'm doing in here keeps the dust in here, which is good. Uh, in here, we did the insulation in here as well. Well, actually, I should mention we did all the insulation out there too. So we insulate the whole basement, which uh, really helped improve things. And built this workbench, got rid of the old one, organized all the tools, knocked out a couple of walls in here, which really made it a lot bigger. You can see where the old wall was. And somebody wants the tools. Okay, just one, just one minute. And then when you turn around this way and behind, uh, this is where the, um, the furnace was. We have a, a ducted heat pump in here now, which is great, new water tank. Uh, I've got another curtain here to keep the dust into the workshop. Uh, but this is kind of where we store all our uh, extra stuff. So again, we're starting to get ready to move. We've got some, some things packed here, but our tires. And in behind, we have uh, an air exchanger that we put in. And that feeds into the um, ducted heat pump. So it circulates fresh air throughout the whole house, which was really nice. It made a difference when we had the windows done and uh, the heat pump put in, we did notice that we had some condensation. So uh, on the windows, and once we put the air exchanger in that, uh, that cleaned it right up. Out here, we have this little door to go outside. we went to show the house this was leaking so I uh, I didn't we didn't disclose it because we didn't know about it when we did the property disclosure but we simply replaced that so we've got a new outside faucet on there which is helpful so that's the tour of the basement let's uh, head back upstairs okay so let's go upstairs and oh I still, after all these years, don't know which one to turn on the light upstairs. Uh, so this is um, upstairs. We didn't do a lot upstairs. Not much needed to be done. Um, kind of two main little projects. That's the kids' room. They're in there playing right now. So leave them alone. But um, I'll pop up the uh, the listing before and after in that room. No, no, stay in there. They're trying to escape. No, stay in there, stay in there. Shh. You have to be really Bye. quiet. <laughs> okay, so the, we didn't actually, this is like the only room we didn't paint. 
um, really, and but it, uh, it's still okay. Uh, so the big thing was the addition of this headboard, which <laughs> good luck taking this down if you don't like it, the new vibes. Um, <laughs> it'll be fun. Hopefully you like it. Um, so this is was really functional, having a little uh, place to read uh, at night, and just I don't know, gave it more of a rustic feel. And because this house is older, it doesn't have much in the way of closets. Let me, oh, it's a little messy in there, but we did our best with the closets and this uh, branch here worked kind of wonders. And we tend to try to keep our clothes at a minimum uh, anyways. If you may have noticed from many of our videos, we're wearing like the same t-shirt over and over again. Um, and then the bathroom was done. Maybe not like mm, to my, aesthetic but I mean it's done so it's fine. It was so, done really well too. The, yeah. the stuff that was done in here was done well so there wasn't really too much to fix other than the leaky faucet we fixed. Oh yeah leaky faucet uh, to her dismay. Otherwise known as the water supply. The fountain. And uh, finally uh, this little bath caddy and that I mean, might have missed a project or two but in some respects it feels like like we've done a lot uh, in in the five years, but sometimes it feels like we haven't done enough. <laughs> so we never really got there's to always something else. I guess is the thing. There's always another project. So we're we're feeling. Are we feeling mixed emotions? Mixed, oh, yeah. mixed emotions about uh, saying goodbye to this house. Um, so there's a lot of firsts in here. We don't really feel like we finished it because didn't finish. We didn't finish really outside. We did most of the work we've done has been inside. Yeah, most of it's been inside. So I guess phase two would have been kind of starting some work outside and really finishing that laundry room would have been probably the two big things. So yeah, our next video will be house tour again. Just a different next house. Next one will be a house tour again, but uh, in, a, in a different spot. And that kind of wraps up the chapter of yeah. so Handyverse 1. Or yeah, 1.0, sure. 1.0. <laughs> If you do want to follow along with all that, hit uh, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video in the new house. See ya. Hi. Thanks for watching.